Pope Alexander, no matter how evil he is, how pornographic he is, how murderous he is, he was always somebody who believed in God. And the terrifying thing for him is that he wakes up out of this state of poison and he realizes there's nobody there. This episode gave us a great opportunity to allow Alexander to be in a state suspended between death and life. That's how I wanted to start season three, was with the Pope is dying, the Pope is dying. What do we do? There's nothing, there's no remedy, no antidote, there's nothing to cure such a case. No, there is, there is something, charcoal, but I have only read of it, never seen it done. I looked for possible solutions that could just conceivably be in an old text somewhere that Lucrezia happens to have read. And this is the first clue we get that Lucrezia is reading up around poisons. This season, Lucrezia, through a whole series of plot devices, will begin to learn about the dark arts. Lucrezia Borgia is probably the one name that most people recognize if they know nothing about the history, nothing about the show. Lucrezia Borgia, the poisoner. But this is witchcraft. This is physic. Open your eyes. We're not safe. No. We are at war. We are at war is very much the sort of statement of intent for this season. There is a plot to kill your family. He's not only at war with everybody in the consistory, the cardinals, he's also at war with Caterina's Forza and the huge Roman families who regard this papacy as theirs by birthright. People in positions of absolute power, the kind of main danger to them seems to be paranoia. It's a big political season. There's an awful lot of conflict. All the snakes in Rome stood forth. This is the season where things are going to get bloody.